Hey up everybody, how the devil are we all doing? It's a naughty goujon, and today we're taking a look at another top 5 camp location. Simply, simply lovely. Location Uno, we're in the swamps of Dagobah, otherwise known as the Maya. Now I am going to level with you, I absolutely hate this region, but for some strange reason, Bethesda saw fit to put some of the best camp spots here, so what can you do? Anyway, let's take a look at this camp spot, shall we? Yeah, sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? As you can see, we've got ourselves a little tin shed with a guard post strapped at the side of it. Now, it's not brilliant. Brilliant, granted, but it is quite unique and somebody much more intelligent than me could probably do quite a decent camp here. If you place down your camp module strategically, you can get a little bit of the wake inside its radius, which is really good if you're the type of person who builds 87,000 lot water purifiers at your camp. Simply, simply lovely. The terrain around it is pretty shit, you know, like most of the Maya in general, but it shouldn't be too much of a challenge to throw some at down here. All in all, guys, region aside, of course, it's not a bad camp spot at all. All. Location 2, we're staying in the Maya, and we're actually just up the road from our first location. Ain't that lovely? Nope, still an absolute shithole. All it is is another example of Bethesda putting a brilliant location in perhaps the worst region on the map. If you do like the Maya, by the way, now would be a good time for me to apologise. Nope. I'm not gonna do. So what do we have here then? Well, we have ourselves a treehouse, and I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty freaking cool. How easy it is to build in, I could not tell you. All I know is you can put your camp module in and around it, and you can put stuff down. The job of working out what to build here and how to build here is down to you, Mon Petit Fleurs. Access to the treehouse itself is gained by this ramp here. You will get stuck on some of the vines, so you may have to jump and fall into the water and repeat the process again. But once you've completed that Indiana Jones S temple run thing. You'll find yourself at the top here with this nice little view of the lake. Ain't that nice? Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Even as a guy that despises the Maya, you know, like I've said 16 times in this video, I've got to admit this is quite a pleasant view and quite a nice area. Fair play. For location 3, we're in the best region on the map and much like the north, it's God's own country. Yep, we're in the forest. And what do we have here? Well, we have ourselves a nice little viewing platform, as well as a creepy old NPC who, if was real, would probably spend most of his time in trouble with the police for indecent exposure. Now, don't deny it, you know exactly what I'm on about. Gramps just gives off the whipping your wang out outside of a retirement home and windmilling kind of vibe. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course you do. Anyway, where were we? Ah, yeah, camp location. Now, other than this little viewing tower, we've got ourselves a tent, which is nice, I guess. Yep, simply, simply lovely. And, of course, we've got ourselves a couple of workbenches or crafting stations, whatever you want to call them. We've got a cooking pot here. That's absolutely great. And underneath the watchtower itself, we've got ourselves a weapons workbench. Simply, simply fantastic. Now, onto the terrain. It doesn't look too difficult to build here, but I've not tried it, so I couldn't tell you. Again, this is going to be down to you guys to discover what the bloody hell it's like. Personally, I reckon it's got a shit ton of potential. Now then, we come on to the Pierre's du Resistance, as the Dutch say. Yeah, we'll go with that. Obviously, with it being a viewing platform, you expect it to have a view, don't you? And that's exactly what we've got. Take a look at this. You know, I'm sure some of you think, why do you love the forest so much, TNG? Well, where's your buddy answer? It's views like this, and this is by far nowhere near the best view location in the region. There's some absolutely beautiful spots out there. Just take a look at some of my other videos. Shameless plug, I know. All things considered, I think we can say that this is a pretty good spot, can't we? Yeah, we can all agree on that one. However, before we move on to our next spot, I will say, enemies do spawn here. So far, I've had liberators and a couple of mole rats. But don't let that dampen your spirits or your enthusiasm to build here. Just slap down a couple of turrets or pull out your gun and shoot the enemies and they'll die. I know it's incredible, isn't it? In a post-apocalyptic game, you do indeed have to shoot things. Radical thinking by Bethesda there. For location four, again, we're in the forest. Best region on the map, just in case you didn't hear it the last 76 times. And we're just up from the Tyler County fairground simply simply marvelous now then what's the first thing you notice about this location there's nothing that really stands out is there other than one small key feature it's flatter than kira knightley's chest yet this place is absolutely fantastic if you want a really simple and easy build there's no uneven terrain to combat it's a nice big open area so you can put down the biggest most vulgar camp you could dream of and to top it off it does have a resource as well yep you can put down a steel extractor how brilliant is that eh who does Love steel. Everybody loves steel. 
Steel is the real deal that goes well with any meal. Something about a Navy SEAL and an automobile. Jesus Christ, I need help. So all these Fallout videos I make, you know, I have to actually play the game and it's left me with just two brain cells fighting for dominance up there. So yeah, there's not much left in my mind at this point. Now back to the camp location, we've mentioned a lot of positives, haven't we? But there is some negatives. Enemies. On my excursions through this area, which is quite admittedly not a lot, I have come across blood eagles and super mutants. Now again, you can kill them using turrets or by whipping out your weapon, but they are a little bit more troublesome than a fucking mole rat. Well, I say that depends on who you ask, don't it? But in all honesty, guys, it is a really nice location, dead easy to build in, and flat ground isn't something you come across often in Fallout, especially in massive open areas of it like this as well. For our last location, we're in the arse end of nowhere, and technically I think you class this as the Savage Divide, but I'm not too sure. It doesn't look like the contents of my toilet after a night out in town, so so yeah, we'll go with Savage Divide. Now this spot is pretty cool and I do believe it's pretty popular. I've seen quite a few camps up here. But what we have is a mega treehouse. I think this buggers something like five or six stories tall. It is pretty, you know substantial yeah that's the word now similar to the last trios to get into it you've got to go up these steps here the only difference is you don't have any vines stopping your way but there is some really really thin planks and if you fall it will do you some damage placing your camp module can be an issue as well if you place it right at the top you'll be able to build on the top story and a couple of levels down but if you place it on the floor you won't be able to build on the higher levels does that make sense yeah of course it does what i'm trying to say is try to be strategic on where you place your camp module with this being in the arse end of nowhere, if you're the kind of person that likes to sell shit for your vendors, this probably isn't the best spot for you. Not many people come up this way. However, if you dislike people and you fancy yourself a hermit, this is spot on. Again, another pretty cool and unique location. Obviously, there is more trios in the game, but nothing quite to this scale. Anyhow, guys, what do you reckon of all of them? Have you seen these locations before? Are they new to you? Let me know down in comments. I'm very intrigued to find out. As ever, I'd like to say a massive thank you to all my Patreons and channel members the extra support is much appreciated if that's something you'd be interested in take a look at the links in the description you'll see a link to my patreon click on it it'll take you there by magic and you'll see all the extra benefits you get to become a channel member on the other hand click that join button while you're down in the description you also see links to all my socials including my discord if that's something that interests you click on that it'll take you there and you can join in with the madness within and of course guys if you did like the video hit that like button let me know i'm doing an half decent job and if you want to see more weekly fallout 76 content hit that subscribe button too we're pushing for 10k we're so bloody close i can taste it anyhow as we say north i will love you and leave you and i'll catch you next one